it's me. This is a modified <laughs> version of the vlog um, because I'm tired <laughs> for one thing. And I did something that I very rarely do. I came home and ate first. I very seldomly do that. I usually, if I'm going to vlog, I come home and I vlog. But I have, um, I was so hungry. I hadn't eaten anything since breakfast. I was so hungry. And I had stopped by, um, McDonald's to get my grandkids some nuggets and some fries and I know that stuff's not good for them I know I know I know but you know once in a while a treat that's what they wanted and I didn't feel like cooking anything and my son didn't feel like cooking them anything and my um, um, daughter-in-law is out visiting some friends so I had to go out and do a little bit of shopping well it's been a long day because I got up and I sat with my grandkids for a little while. Um, my son last night was his last um, game. So he's in the process. We're getting ready to see where he's going to. Um, he's going to look at apartments at his new, um, where his new team is. He's going to go look at apartments. I think he said Thursday, and I think he said Friday, we have to go to look at, um, we have to go to the base to get my medication. We have to go to the base to get my medication. So, and then that means we will be moving pretty soon. I'm not <laughs> looking forward to it, but at least, you know, this time it'll be a fun moving. Um, yeah, so I got up, kind of took care of them, kind of did some house, little teeny bit of work, and then... Um, My son went out to run some errands because he had to mail. Remember that infam infamous box I was talking about in the Philippines? Okay, it finally got out of here. But it just, my son just did not have time to go to the post office, take it to the post office with him having to uh, uh, go to be at practice practically all day. And then um, when he was away, for away games, he was away. And so I know I'm looking ratchet, no eyelashes, no, <laughs> no uh, uh, shadow, but I just kind of got myself together really quick and got out of here. My son um, went to get the grandkids some clothes. You know how quickly toddlers run out of their clothes. He, ran, he went out to buy them some clothes. And so I stayed back there with them and um you know talked to them and played with them you know and um was messing around with my phone as usual and um let me see what else happened oh and then my um daughter-in-law left left and so i was here with the kids and then when my son came back and he was showing them their clothes and they were trying them on and all this stuff like that then um, I got dressed, but I mean, because by that time it was four o'clock, so I was not in the mood for eyeshadow, those eyelashes, a whole lot of highlighting, crazy stuff. I just wanted to make myself presentable enough to go out in the street amongst folks, <laughs> like my sister Steel Office says that. I'm trying to make myself presentable so I can go out amongst folks. But um, yeah, I, I just ran out because I needed a couple of things. Um, I went to the big department. I got lost. I don't know how in the world I got lost. Well, what happened was I was trying to avoid the, because um, right in front of the subway, it's a whole lot of people always passing out a whole bunch of junk, you know, and, and stuff. And I was, I walked, caught myself walking down and walking up and I ended up getting lost and I don't know what happened anyway, but I found my way back and I went, because I wanted a phone cover. I wanted a cover for my phone. So I finally got that. Then I went back to the other department store and got a few things, you know. I got the kids some Hot Wheels. And um, what else did I get them? I got them some Hot Wheels. I got a mouse and a mouse pad. I'll show you all that stuff. It's, it's not even a haul. I'm not even going to call it a haul. But um, I got a couple of things. And I needed 
me see. Yeah, because I, okay. The mouse that goes to the desktop, I had to throw it away because it was so old. So I took my one that I had been using on my, um, on my laptop and um, I'm using it for my, for on the big desktop. And so I needed another mouse because I can't work. I can't write. I can't do anything without an audio mouse on my desktop because, I mean, on my laptop because I have to have two mice. <laughs> you know, because I, because, you know, while I'm working, I'm, you know, I got the noise, the background noise is the, um, the big computer. So, and I may have to look something up or something, you know, really quick or, you know, do some research or Google something really quick. And I can't do that on the laptop because, like I said, the, um, what you call them is, the wireless is gone on that. And I needed a new mouse pad. So I got that. And then I got the phone cover. And then I got, well, I had talked about, you know, stopping at McDonald's, but it's such a trip stopping at McDonald's. They don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. It is a mess, okay? But um, I got through it this time. I got through it really well. I gave, um, I came, well, the same thing happened and happened last time. I got out and I said, I better look. And they had given me the um, big nugget, but they hadn't given me the little six piece one because I had, tech, I had um, uh, messaged my son and asked him, did he want nuggets too while I was there? I'm thinking he might, you know, want some too. So I went on and, and I went back and got a six peak and came back. And then I came back home and I gave my son the food so he could feed them. And then I had to go back out to still go out to the grocery store and get him a couple of things and get me yogurt for in the morning, fruit for in the morning. Um, apple juice for the kids and some noodles for them for their breakfast in the morning because it's it's such a pain to get we're not stock up a million pounds of food in the house kind of people we kind of shop every day and so my um, um, so I got but I hate when it's the first thing in the morning and we have nothing for them to eat and so, you know then usually it's me have to get up, throw some clothes on, go to the store, you know, come back and everything. So I went on and got them something for their breakfast, apple juice. I said apple juice. And I'm really, really tired. But um, I've been having a good time messing around with my phone and blogging and stuff. It's kind of fun. Um, what else been going on? Well, I got some a whole lot of stuff in the... Um, uh, planner, but I don't feel like doing that now. I wanted to get just get something quick really done. So let me um, What else did I get at the store? That was it. I got myself some um, Water and some I found this I finally found this they they have sparkling flavored sparkling water But it's sweet it's sugar in it So I finally found one that's zero calories, which means it's probably that artificial stuff Which is probably worse for you than <laughs> than the actual sugar but um anyway it's zero calories and of course i had to get some chips and then i had um and i did not have nuggets for my dinner i had spaghetti and a big salad with um like really shredded lettuce and i don't know what else carrots and stuff like that and i had an avocado and i sliced i put some sliced some avocado um, I'm looking at myself in the reflection of my the cabinet I have beside my desk. And I my skin's looking pretty good. I just kind of powdered it, put a little teeny bit of blush. Um Yeah, and I did oh what was I talking about? Okay, yeah, and that's that's all I got from the store. Oh, that's what I had for dinner. Yeah, and I had an avocado, so I cut half of that up and put it on the salad, and that's what I had for dinner. Even though I love nuggets, but I didn't have them this time. And what else? What else? I think pretty much that was it. And then I came home and I was just so starving. You know, I was just so hungry. Because, I, you know, I, I usually when I get home, 
from being out since I'm already made up and everything and looking halfway decent. I vlog before I eat, but this time I just I just had to eat first because I really hadn't eaten since breakfast. I really hadn't eaten anything since my breakfast. So I had to get something to eat. So I'm going to show you the couple little things I got. Oh, and I got my kids, my grandkids. Yeah, I told you, uh, Hot Wheel cars. And I got my son a Hot Wheel car because he still likes cars and stuff. And I got a mouse. I told you I got a, another mouse. For, it's a laptop mouse. It's a smaller one. I got a mouse pad. New mouse pad. It's blue. Because my other one is just like, well, I got this one in D.C., actually. I love my anime one, but it's just, it's not, it's not, it's not working anymore. You know, you got to keep, you know how when your mouse pad gets old, that all that nonsense. And what I went for in the first place and got the wrong thing the other day, finally, The, uh, there you go. The phone case. And of course I got a blue one. But I have to take this plastic thing off the back. Off of it. But I'll keep that because you never know. You know, I might get tired of the case. The case might. Who knows, you know. So that's what I'm going to do as soon as I get off here. But, um, what I really wanted to talk about was, you know, I, had, I the other day I was, um, you know, vlogging with my phone, showing myself walking along and um, I didn't have any makeup on, so it was the first time I ever, you know, put up a video and didn't have any makeup on. I was out in the sunshine, and I was just, you know, talking as I walked along. And I was saying, you know, the interesting things, and I vlogged in the dollar store and in the grocery store, you know, and did a couple things. But, you know, I what I was saying was that the really interesting things that, that happen here are the things that I do every day. I mean, I walk past every day. I do the same, you know, the, the you know, going to a Japanese grocery store every single day, you know, and, and doing different things like that and interacting every single day. So it's no big deal. And I was thinking that, you know, I was, I look at other people's videos and I mean, and they get into all these deep subjects of, eating disorders and, and, and you know, and, and just like, you know, uh, abuse and stuff like that. And I was thinking, you know, maybe I should get into more heavy stuff, but, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not the kind of person that puts that kind of stuff out. You know, I put the um, adult child stuff out there because, you know, I just, you know, it's just a part of my life. That's just what happened. And, but I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking, well, maybe, you know, you should think of something more sensational to talk about or, you know, something that will, you know, get you, you know, but I, I don't really care about that. I just, you know, it, it's just, but from the point of view that, maybe I should be doing more serious subject matter than, oh, what I bought at the store, and oh, you know, I went to the grocery store, and, and oh, my grandkids, did, you know. But, you know, that's what kind of YouTuber I am. You know, so, you know, to each his own. Everybody can't be, you know, have this drama and stuff going on, and everybody can't, you know, be exciting that their boyfriend left them, you know, and everybody can't, you know, some people are just going to be boring grandmas, you know. And I was, what I did was, what I've been doing for the last couple of days is looking at some of my old videos because, number one, I I had some really good ideas about the book in some of my old videos. And, um... So I was going back, kind of, you know, looking at them to to try to, you know, refresh my memory of what um, I have been, you know, back then saying about the book and stuff like that. And I looked at, okay, the videos before I left Tacoma are pretty much light, light, 
you know, talking about the book and, you know, and talking about looking for work and talking about moving and talking about all that kind of stuff. And then the, I only made four in D.C. You know, I just sat down at the table one day um, in my living room and made like four, you know, talking about how I hadn't been to, um, you know, how I came across the country and I know, you know, where I've been and, you know, what had happened, you know, since then. And I... I didn't I didn't do it I didn't do any videos at all in Hawaii because when I left DC in July I was going to Hawaii for the wedding and then from the wedding I came here and I was looking at the videos I think I did a haul where I got these really nice clothes ASOS A S O S I can't say it anyway I'd ordered some clothes for them and I did a haul and then I did, like, because I got those in December. So I think I did an after Christmas vlog. I was, you know, kind of, you know, reminiscing about other Christmases and, you know, things like that. And, um, um, let's see, you know, and, and other Christmases and, you know, missing my Christmas stuff that I lost, you know, that I left, be had to leave behind in storage and stuff. And... That was kind of, you know, that was a kind of, I was kind of happy, you know, and just talking about, but then I made a couple more, like around New, New Year's ones. I made a couple more and ah, I'm so depressed. I mean, I was, there was nothing on the wall behind me. I didn't, I think maybe the clock was there. I had no plants, you know, a showing, no wall hanging, nothing, nothing. And it was dark. I had the um, just this, just this dark, and my face. I could see that dark, um, those dark spots that I finally got rid of. You you can see it all down. You know, my face is just from stress. And I know my nails look a lot shorter, but I had some major breakage, so I had to, um, you know, you have to cut them down to start over at some point in time. But that's okay. They all grow. You know, I got had to cut them down so they look at least normal, you know, because you couldn't have one real long one. And, you know, so anyway, my point. But, um, yeah, I, I'm so depressed in those videos. I'm just so just. <sighs> it's really sad kind of looking at them, you know, because. I'm just dragging, my voice is dragging, my skin looks all dark and mottled, you know. Well, I well, I have a couple of, um, well, I have on this blue uh, sweat, a uh, shirt, and I do look, I look really bad in those because I didn't have any light. The only light I had was the light above me, and it's way up there, and it just made me look jet black like like this you know just made me look like that and that's not my complexion you know it's nothing wrong with being dark you know whatever color you are is fine but it just it didn't look right you know it didn't look right but I'm not the thing of it is I'm not going to erase them I'm going to leave them because to give you one example I had a cell phone when I was in Washington State that was kind of a AARP kind of discounted kind of you know cell phone it um, I mean it was a regular cell phone did everything a regular cell phone did but you know it was just you know it wasn't a fancy phone you know it's just a you know this and the other kind of phone and the and you have to renew it you know ever so often you know you have to renew it you know every so often and I guess requalify or whatever every so often and I um because I, I was not gonna go out and spend a hundred dollars a month for unlimited 
calling an unlimited text when all I did was call Pat, <laughs> you know, and I had a, a, a landline too, and I used that, you know, for business and for, you know, calling, you know, home and calling Pat when, you know, I'm going to, um, um, and I never hardly put any minutes on the cell phone, so it, it was fine for me, but anyway, I had, um, it's just one example, I was supposed to call and um, re, not reevaluate, requalify for the phone. And I was supposed to do it New Year's Day. But New Year's Day here and New Year's Day there was two different, um, you know, two different um, times, of course. And by the time I thought about it here, it it was too late, and 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 the thing the thing about it was I couldn't even use the phone here anyway. I couldn't use it here, and when I went to Hawaii, I could use it, but I couldn't use it here anyway. But it was just the fact that I had a cell phone, you know, I, that I had one, you know, and and it was in good standing. And well, what I had done was I had put a message on it saying that if it was anything important to email me at um you know, I, I put my email up there, you know, in case it was business or anything, you know, something important. Um, so then I had no way to anybody to, you know, get in contact with me except on Facebook and stuff. And so I was, I, you know, I, I was just really upset about not having a cell phone, you know, about not having a cell phone. And now I have the newest cell phone. I mean, so that's, let me turn it back upside, upside down so you can see the apple. But I mean, and I did a thing about the phone, but it just goes to show how things change. And I, now I do have a cell phone that works here. That's, you know, a, you know, the newest phone, you know, and the nice phone cover to put on it, you know, and you know, we're we're getting ready to move to a bigger, nicer place. My son is getting ready to move to a bigger, nicer place. I'm going to move to a bigger, nicer place. Um, you know, the grandkids are, you know, fine. You know, they got all these new clothes. They're having fun. And I'm really enjoying them. Because I think, like I said on the old video, then I'm going to go. Because I got to give them their bath. I have a life. I have to go give them their bath. I haven't streamed up the, my room, really. I have to go do that. When I came home, I just threw all the bags on the, <laughs> you know, on the bed and went in, made my dinner, or ate and decided to, you know, get on here really quick. But I talking about? But that just goes to show remember what I was talking about. No, well, it just goes to show that things get better. You know, that things do get better and things do change and when, but when you're in the grips of that depression, like, oh, I know what it was. I had said in the sad videos, I'm calling it, was that I don't think I, it registered the stuff that was happening, you know, me having to move out of my apartment and and having to give my cat away and having to, you know, move back to D.C. with my family and then, you know, having to disagree with my sister and having to go and live, you know, with my niece for a while and, and you know, and all that crazy stuff like that that happened while I was, you know, job hunting and, you know, I'd gotten the job and couldn't take it and you know stuff like that and I think like I was saying I didn't let it register I, I, I didn't let it in because if I had let it in to where I am the essence that is me I would have lost my mind I mean I, 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 I couldn't do it and I think when I got finally got here and got around my son and got around my grandkids then I could hurt for it you know then it, but then I was really depressed and instead of like you know really enjoying being back which I did and everything you know 
but um, that's when it started hitting me, you know, as days would come by, like September, when September rolled around, that's when um, I realized I was going to have to leave my apartment, and then I was trying to struggle to stay there just as long as I could, and, you know, and then, you know, having to leave in February and stuff like that, you know, and I just, I just... You know, then the, the new apartment falling through and all that stuff like that. So I think, personally, that's deep enough, okay? <laughs> that's deep enough, because I'm not going to put my business on this thing. You know, my grandkids going to see this. People I don't know one day, not now, but one day are going to see this. And i am just never been you know, that kind of person that, well, first of all, I don't have no love stuff. I mean, you know, I haven't had a breakup in decades, really. And um, I don't have any really money problems now. I don't have any, you know, when I had to move out of my apartment, that was more, it was less about money, actually than just having to, you know, leave that space. And when I got to Washington, D.C., it was just like I knew it was going to be. You know, I knew exactly what was going to happen, you know. And the fact that I made it February, March, April, May, June, July, five months is a miracle. Because I said six months. I said, give me six months and I will either be, I don't know where, or I knew six months, six months. I knew it, and it ended up being five. So I, because I, I knew exactly what was going to happen. Because sometimes you just don't have any family, and and I don't mean it like that. Because I know there are only children of only children who don't have any family, and they wish they had family to fight with. But you can't make a what's that thing? Um, silk purse out of a sow's ear. You, you just can't, just because you want something to be a certain way, it's not going to be that way. And not that I didn't have some good times. Easter was good. Mother's Day was good. You know, sitting around outside and eating, you know, chicken and stuff like that. And, you know, I went to see my little great niece perform. You know, I went to church with my, you know, sister. And, I went to my mom had a program, but you know, at where she the assistant living where she is, and they were singing, you know, and all this stuff like that. And I mean, it was some good things happened, you know, some good things happened, but it wasn't the place for me to grieve all I had been through. I think that's what I'm trying to say. If I had left the apartment and came straight here, then um, I think I would have been better off. But I had no way to grieve there. And plus, you know, being triggered by all that stuff. Then, you know, the wedding and all that stuff was stressful, you know, but that was fun kind of stressful. But it's still stress. Even something fun is stress. Even when if you get a new job, it's stressful. Planning a wedding is stressful. If you, a new relationship is still stress. I mean, it's good stress, but it's still stress. So, all that to say, this is that you know I didn't I didn't have time to decompress, you know, and then coming straight here, you know, having to readjust, you know, all over again. So, I don't know. I think, I think I am not really as frivolous as I really think I am. And the next um, <laughs> video will make a little bit more sense. But I am having fun vlogging. I'm, I am having fun on Instagram. Um, I sent... Um, um, my son's dad some pictures of the grandkids you know it's to keep him you know keep him in the loop and I know I look terrible but I just could not I just could not do what because if I had messed with the lashes and all that stuff like that it that would have been an hour <laughs> and then it would have been five o'clock and then you know I really would be tired but 
I'm going to put my phone in my new case and I'm going to um, go and put those monsters in the bathtub. <laughs> And then I'm going to I'm going to settle that once I get them settled down I'm going to settle down I got some um, um, clothes I got to fold and another load of laundry to do so I'm going to go do that while they're in the tub straighten up the nursery and the living room which they have destroyed they like um, having their they call um, my son they call their father Dada. And they just have loved having Dada all day, you know, home with them all day. Because usually he's gone, you know, during the day. You know, at practice or what have you. And then he comes back. And then this time he was gone for three days before he came back. And a lot of times he's, you know, he's he's away. And they really, they really love their Dada. And then, then they love Grandma. You know, and they can, they can call you now, Grandma. Dada and Dada, Mama, <laughs> you know, because they have a they have a a, a a child gate, you know, so they can't get get out and get free. And they um they stand at the gate and go uh, scream for whoever they want. But like I was telling my son, that that's not spoiling them when you answer them or go to them. That's um giving them confidence that they know their needs. And they will expect their needs to be met. They won't, like we were, we didn't expect our needs to be met. So we allowed ourselves to be treated a certain way and we allowed ourselves low self-esteem because our needs weren't met. So not him, you know, because I decided that it was going to be different with him. But, um, yeah. So now I'm all lightened up. You know, my skin is all looking all good. I got a new phone. I, you know, I don't have any, you know, I got, you know, spending money. And the only thing I need bras. I can't get a bra here. But when we go to Guam, after we move and my son and my daughter-in-law, they have a friend's wedding they're going to in Ireland. Then when they come back, we're going to take a vacation to Guam, the whole family. And then, um... I don't know. I don't know. I would like to maybe get away to, I would love to go to Washington State before the basketball season starts again. And, you know, we get back into our routine again. But, you know, who knows? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really worried about it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with things now. And like I said, this the the miracle of realizing that things change. They do change. And while, if anybody ever sees this, while you're in the mire, while, you know, there's this, there's this, I'm going to say one more thing, then, then I really am going to go. But there's this old sermon from a really old preacher a long time ago. And the, the, the basis of the sermon is it's Friday, but Sunday's coming. And what that refers to is Good Friday. You know, imagine how sad the apostles were and how sad, you know, Jesus' mother was and how, you know, sad his followers and, you know, everybody was. But then Sunday, you know, so when you're, but when you have depression and when you're in it, you just, you just don't think it's ever going to, you know, it's ever going to end. You know, you, you just feel like it's never going to end. But then when it does and you come out of it, it's time to come out of it. So I am going to go put those Brett burgers <laughs> in the tub, <laughs> get them their bath. I'm not crying with my eyes doing that thing. I don't know. But um, yeah, and I got to go get my medicine and make an eye appointment, mammogram appointment. It's something else appointment I need to make and I'm going to do all that when we go on to the base Friday. And so, of course, after that, you know there'll be a vlog after that, and I'm going to take my phone and take pictures on the base. I'm not going to let them see me, but I'm going to do it. Anyway, so I will talk to you guys later.